actually wanted to ask you is uh, if you're parents, family, so on and so forth, everybody's got, everybody is someone to something like a mum, a daughter, a sister, an uncle, an auntie, everyone's got some kind of responsibilities to somebody or something, whether it be a pet, you know? So the reality of the, do you know, I just said it there in my head. My mum always used to say the organ grinder. That was her saying. She used to say it's the organ grinder because it does, it, it grinds you down. It's just there grinding away at you every day. Most people, you know, that it's been in the news a lot recently, people that are suffering from anxiety and stress because of modern day social, um, uh, what's the word? Um, requirements, you know, what's required of you socially and what's, you know, expected of you socially. Um, and, you know, you've got people that are stressing, not sleeping at night because they're keeping up with the Joneses. You know, um, that saying isn't maybe an English saying, Philip, but like keeping up with the, the next people on your street. If the house two doors down gets a new car, you're like, boy, it's probably time to change the car. Or if they start doing up their loft or getting a, comp you know, it, it's that that social mentality is ingrained into everybody. If if their friends are going on three holidays a year, they must do the same. So they need to put more hours into work, less time away with the family, this, that. And, and so it's all a servitude. It's all some type of servitude, whether it's to the tax man, whether it's to your employer, whether it's to graft for your own homesteads. It's all time. Yeah, what time. are we talking about? Actually, two two holidays a year. It's like you know, a miserable amount of of time. Well, that, that they didn't end slavery, did they? They just gave it perks and renamed it. Yeah. You know, it, you can imagine people sitting around going, "Listen, these people are not going to buy into this for much longer, man. They're not really feeling this whole getting whipped and and moved about the place." So I'll tell you what we'll do: we'll give them a proper plot of land. We'll let them call it there. We'll gauge their more their life, their mortality and we'll call it a mortgage, yeah, because we're gauging their mortality. We reckon that person's probably good for about 40 years labor. <laughs> we'll let them ha own their little plot of land for a bit, but we won't give them the land. In, in England, we call it a freehold. So if you have a freehold, you, you have the land that your house is on. If you have the leasehold, you've got the lease for the property for that amount of time, so on and so forth. And you'll have people, you know, living their whole life to that career commitment if that makes sense and that's fine that's brilliant but that's what society has has made for us if you understand what i'm saying like the monopoly game it's already been set out you have no choice but to go round and collect your 200 each time you go round. yeah and, and your kids hope. watching you, you kids hope, are... yeah you gotta hope you roll the dice better at next time and not land on so many hotels so that you end up with more money on that next loop if you want to call each loop a year Fine, each loop's a year, but you, you, where are you gonna go, bruv? Honestly, where are you going? You can't go anywhere else, everywhere's governed. Tell me where you can go to walk away from that. If I wanted to walk away from that tomorrow and do my own thing, please tell me where I can go. Put me out my misery, chat room, put me out my misery, comment section, put me out my misery. Tell me where I can go, but I don't have to be governed. Even people that live north of the fifth the 60th parallel yeah in that that north part they're governed they cannot fish on the yukon 52 weeks around the year they're governed by the local government you can only fish then you can only kill then but hold on you guys are homesteaders you own the land you live on why can't you oh because you're still governed so you're not you haven't walked away you're still governed Yes, there's there's still... where, where are you not governed? Is it just the nomads or are they governed as well? They are, aren't they? They can't kill certain times of the year. They can't go into certain territories and kill because it's not no man's land anymore. It's governed. I'll leave you a link uh, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the description to this video uh, to one guy's film. He's filming like it's like already a few film. And he's filming the places where you can still live like this, uh, where you cannot, like almost not, not, no governance at all. And we have those places. You say almost. Russia. Did you say almost? Uh, the the only contact that they have is when they exchange what they, you know, what they made, uh, like uh, fish or caviar. 
because there will be some glitch there'll be some glitch to it where they have to do something yeah that they, they need money to buy their snowmobiles right. uh guns and all this stuff so they exchange sometimes and they exchange with traders and the traders give yeah. them money and yeah. they buy some arms for this money so this is the only way they they are controlled and they vote like once a year they don't even have a road to there so it's like only in the summer and right in, in the winter you can go on snowmobile so. wow so that is probably about as good as it's going to get as far as not being governed concerned but know? they they have yeah, all they, the nature they, in their hands they have uh forests they, to, they, to they completely subservient to nature nature's either going to make them or break them um and that's another thing that we've been completely disconnected from living the life that we have to live everyone relies on their supermarket yeah that guy called this movie uh this documentary happy people it's like happy people <laughs> one happy people two happy people three oh, nice. yeah, so, i'll take a look i'll definitely yeah take he, a look. he has the subtitles in english so it's very interesting to watch this uh you know oh. series it's like very relaxing and uh, throws back it's like throws back so very interesting so it's nice. like all almost no governance at all nice nice i'll take a look but yeah i mean that, that, that's pretty much where it is it's it's at the point where you you kind of you're forced into it it's not it's, it's not called slavery anymore it's 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 employment ship with perks 28 days paid holiday lucky us but uh, the the community is still this predator community, this parasitic community is growing and growing and spinning around and it's trying to engage more people inside and like, you know, it's like a meat processor. You can't put the meat back inside the meat processor so it, you know, can't be the same anymore right. after after it's processed. Yeah. So, <laughs> and we have what we have. We have the, you know, the broken mind of our kids which are mm -hmm. you know totally affected by all those gadgets and devices that you know surround mm. us these days we mm. have the education system which enslaves the person and totally you know leaves them only the time to work and sleep well they're all internationally governed by the ministries of education the same ministries of education yeah, that yeah, yeah. country yeah. And, mine and govern you, every other country if you look up all this you know international activity it's all concentrated in education mm -hmm. science mm -hmm. and central banking mm -hmm. and space station of course and antarctica this is where it's like going on forever so I, i'm glad can we had say, this conversation can you and, can you do me a favor and yeah. name any other group of people that are more attacked by mainstream media than globe deniers and flat earthers could you please name a group of individuals that are more attacked by mainstream media than flat earthers and globe deniers? I probably media. Who else gets taken on TV just to get ridiculed? Who else? Yeah, I mean, we have like one position. Quick, no, but I mean, let's face it. Every time a flat earther is taken on television, they're taken on television to get ridiculed. Purely to get ridiculed. Never to get taken seriously. Always a hit piece. Who else gets more attacked? No. yeah take a look back for 20 years ago like it was one uh, radical position is that we have a space of filled with aliens and all those yeah, un, you know unidentified uh, unidentified flying objects everywhere uh, pictures of them you know so many ufo researchers yeah, that's, that, that's probably about the only people i would say that get as ridiculed as much people that and they believe them and they believe them oh, they they they, they no, Philip, though, listen, hear me out on this, right? Okay, I'm not making any claims, right? It's just a thought, just a thought, okay? Okay, where I, I haven't seen any definitive proof, definitive proof of proper circumnavigation, right, from what's claimed to be the North Pole to the South Pole, back to the North Pole, up again. I've seen, I've seen what they claim that to be as going down to the South Pole, going west a bit and then going back north that's not what we're talking about here you i mean we're talking complete rotation of the claim that's been made like they do on the equator yeah um so with that being said i personally haven't seen any definitive evidence of what lies beyond where mankind has gone yeah so if what i'm seeing is observably flat 
please, as a disclaimer, I'm just saying again, I'm not making any claims. What if there were further lands? Just what if for a second? If we could just entertain that thought for a second, and I don't, I'm not saying I believe it, I'm just saying for a, for a conversational piece, if there was extra land, then for me, that would open up the book for UFOs without a doubt because if people if people can entertain the conversation of infinite space and i'm just talking about the conversation being entertained yeah not the idea the conversation yeah if people are entertaining in a civilized fashion the conversation of infinite space without any actual evidence of it then can we not entertain the conversation of infinite land like rich said earth why? Why is that conversation not entertained when people clearly entertain infinite space without any proof whatsoever? So if that yeah. was the case, then what's to say? What's to say older civilizations wouldn't be pertained as extraterrestrials, extra terrain? Extraterrestrials from extra terrain flying in unidentified objects that are not you know, um, recognisable to us because they're from other civilizations that live on outer lands. Possibly. I don't believe that personally. I'm just saying, could we entertain a, a civilised conversation about that? I'm making a disclaimer. I don't believe that. I'm not, I don't, I don't like beliefs really. I'm not really into them. Um, however, if people are, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, if, if you could give me a yes or a no answer, do you think if people can, civilized entertain the conversation of infinite space shouldn't we assume that we could entertain the conversation of infinite land not that we believe any we don't have to believe any i'm just saying on a on a balancing of the scales people that believe in outer space are happy to entertain the conversation of infinite space yeah and with you're that right. said, could we entertain the, could not believe it, entertaining a conversation and believing something is two different things, right? That's all we're really pushing for is social acceptance of, of pushing the boundaries of what's acceptable to talk about. And I think for me, the UFO scenario becomes the biggest messed up psyop because what if there was outer lands and they said it's fine they think they're on a fucking spinning ball. So anything that's unidentified to them, they're just going to think aliens. We can mark that off as crazy and we're good. That, that kind of, you know, one of those problems that handles itself. Like UFOs could be the biggest joke and, and the joke would not only be on us, it would be on them because they would have not had to really get a team on that. They could just go, listen, because they think they're living on a fucking spinning ball, it's fine. That They're going to go, right, oh, it's crazy, it's aliens. And... The masses are not really going to buy that, even though they buy their living on a ball. Brilliant. It's per it's like the ultimate psyop. Yeah, you know, they, uh, they actually, why are they letting because them? What is Area 51? Right? Because before, when, when, do, do you agree, when you thought you were on a ball, back in the day when you thought you might have lived on a ball, did you not think that Area 51 was like some kind of a alien base or some shit? Yeah, it's a marketing tool to entertain I us. Because that's the feel I want to ask you. Once you woke up, when you went back to thinking about Area 51, what did you think? Did you think, yeah, they got me good and proper with that one? It's yeah, it's it. just, you know, a good, good legend for people to be, you know. And the uh, people flying in and out of there every day, what about them? The people that fly in and out of there every day, what are they doing? They're just, they're just doing that for show. Yeah, of course, because they just, you know, paid some, some uh, what amount. What is Area 51? What if Area 51 was like the, the LAX of underground tunnels? <laughs> like yeah, the hub, oh no. like, you know where they go to go underground? Because I know some people have been talking about like international underground routes. This is, this is a topic they use to, you know, sell us all these space programs. Yeah. It's, just, it's just a folder of this marketing strategy that they have since mm. whatever mm. times when they started all those missiles, then they sold us those foul rockets that mm. the Nazis invented. Then they sell us uh, these space rockets that Soviets and USA invented yeah. in fifties and sixties. And this is so all the marketing strategy. Yeah. And they yeah. were selling fantastic movies and books for uh, for a century or even more. 
just before they started all these missile projects. It was just, you know, a strategy, a tactical strategy, step by step selling this information, like making people accept yeah. it. Like we accept it, like it could be possible. Then they do something, they show us some photographs of, you know, uh, very poor footage and they say well we don't have very good footage because you know that's what we have and yeah. we believe them because you know why what why don't we believe in actually right <laughs> we don't have a any lot good people footage take it as a given philip you're right they just go well yeah. that yeah. it is it's true look at your wall look at your wall you have like four different uh, pictures of uh earth and they were selling that for several centuries for several mm -hmm. decades mm -hmm. i mean each decade they had different earth well, I've got them here. Yeah, I've got them here on this poster. Yeah, here, which, 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 um, which is actually fake. You know, yeah, who knows? Which has been <laughs> fake. You know? And this is what they actually do. And they sell in house uh, all those fantastic movies from Hollywood instead of, you know, actually showing some, some decent proof of, uh, of a ball or globe or whatever, you know? Yeah or practical usage or efficiency of these programs. We don't have them. All they are is a load of smaller pictures stitched yeah. together and placed over a blank 3D sphere to form what you readily accept as proof yeah. of your ball. I think they just, you know, figured out that That's it's why very... underneath the globes, it says not for educational purposes. Yeah. There's a little disclaimer underneath the globes that says not for educational purposes. Yeah. I think they just, you know, figured out that the Hollywood yeah. makes a lot of money and it's the best way to, you know, put their graphic officers, CGI officers into the Hollywood. They don't even have the so practical officers in their NASA agency. They all the, all the graphics they make is like really, you know, doesn't even worth a million dollars. You know, they just, you know, so cutting the expenses, probably making so much profit from NASA, you know, because all these budgets are huge, but who's making profits? Correct. And the Hollywood can, you know, make you Where revenue. Where is that money going, really? And Where? people believe in Hollywood because it's more effective. It, mm -hmm. you know, has all this footage, which is like uh, literally amazing sometimes. And you like watch Interstellar, and you totally believe in this crap. The wow. scenario, the actors, the graphics, the play, and all this stuff is like amazing, Clown amazing. Clown. And I even cried when when I saw the old you know, uh, mother uh, met him after all, like when he met her at the, when he, when, when they, you know, caught him after like several decades in, mm -hmm. in space, they saved that guy. And he was like, oh, my mother, I saw mm -hmm. my mother, oh, my daughter, my daughter, not my mm -hmm. mother. He mm -hmm. saw his mm -hmm. daughter and because I have a daughter and I was like, oh shit, it's like <laughs> killing me. <laughs> the story is killing me. So they I all like put your feelings with that one. They like got the heartstrings. They do That's though. It. They know what they're doing, Philip. They know what they're doing, man. They know how to do it to people. Because the Hollywood are professionals, and NASA no. actually are students. You know, they're, they're students. They're a bunch of Satanists, man. They just they, stealing listen, money. They believe in the devil. Listen, like I'm not really big on religion in general, but if you if you want to look at these puppets and how they wanted to talk about the easter worshippers that was like the key word of the day easter worshippers they didn't even want to recognize yeah, easter is worshippers. literally the word that is the key to all the religion yes. i've been researching it so yeah. east east like is where the sun comes from mm -hmm. east, the sun comes from the east and that's why the goddess of the the spring and the forest was called istra istra is one ostrich in some countries and Nordic, so we have it in Russia, in Poland, in Lithuania, in uh, Sweden, in Norway, in Germany, and probably in England. You mm. knew that that goddess, and she was called Easter. That's why Christians and you know pagans were using that day. It was actually the day of spring equinox. Interesting. So it's connected to all this ancient pagan knowledge, and now it's like you know composed with the Jewish Easter which is like a way different, even spelling different. So it's like they connected Easter to Easter. In, in Jewish uh, tradition, the Easter is called the Pesach. It's like after the man's cur curve back and bars that they have, like the uh -huh. Paces, uh -huh. and the Pesach is the, is the actual uh, holiday. Mm. Also, so uh, so also, is that... Yeah, we have uh, in Russia we call it Paschet and they they call it Pesach. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. 
and you call it Easter because you you're like more Germanic and that's why you remember all these ancient pagan names of Easter and mm -hmm. that's why you have Easter as the Ost. Ost is also East in, in German so it's like Oster and Easter is the same name. Mm. Interesting. So, you know, we, I've, been, I've been talking to one interesting guy from Serbia and we I, I'm gonna be releasing this uh, footage pretty much soon so I I think you might as well check it out because it's very interesting. All this stuff is connected. All this stuff from before. Yes, I'm sending the link. I'll definitely do. I'll definitely Yeah, thanks all for joining today. So I hope uh, we we're gonna have uh, plenty more chats and be yes, like. Yes, please. I'd love that. I'd love yeah. that. I've really enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed this. Yeah. So see you later. Thank you, my darling. Yeah. Bye. Take care. Bye.